Welcome to Kirby's Tractor Adventures. Hi all, thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to show the steps required to install your three-point hitch assembly to the back of your tractor. To some, this may be obvious, but for me, with no instructions in the box and the fact that I've never done it before, made it a bit daunting. To start, I am measuring the draft link arm because they may look identical, but from the center hole, one side is slightly longer than the other. I am using the short side towards the back of the tractor, with the welds facing inwards towards each other. I decided to mark the short ends with electrical tape, using red for right and green for left. With the PTO shield raised up, insert each arm onto the inner lower pins. Then after, slot in a linch pin to hold them in place. Next, I'm installing the adjustable top link with it pre-adjusted all the way in. The pin that holds this in place has a flat side that lines up on the right. Then install a linch pin on the left to hold it in place. Next up is the left and right lift links. The one for the right side is adjustable. I adjusted it to be the same length as the fixed left side before installing them. The cotter pins in my kit that hold them in place I find difficult to use. I may replace them with an easier style cotter pin in the future. As you can see me struggling to install them here. To remove them, I find it easier to use my pliers that I keep in my front toolbox. Now I am able to move on to installing the stabilizer assembly, or also known as the sway linkage. There is a small bend in the metal on the side that connects to the tractor. This small bend is supposed to be pointed outwards when sliding it on. If you have larger hands like myself, you may find it a little tricky to get your hand just right to install the linch pins that hold these in place. If you have rear wheel spacers, it will make it easier. The other end of the assembly connects the lift and draft link arms together. You need to hold them all together to get the bolt end through when they all line up. Then on the other side, just spin on the nut. My stabilizer assembly on the right had a small defect in the threads, so I was unable to tighten it much by hand, just one to two turns. I'm putting on the supplied bungee cord to keep things all together to make it easier to tighten the nuts down. There is no real official way that I can see to hold the other side from turning, so I am just using an adjustable wrench to hold the chain link to prevent it from moving too much. You will need to tighten them down until it bottoms out. It will remain slightly loose to still be able to move up and down. Now that it's all tightened up, your three-point installation is now complete. Next up for you will be either a quick hitch installation or to use it directly on an attachment. 
For me, I don't have a quick hitch, and I currently only have one attachment. I have a 5 foot box blade, so when I need to remove this 3 point hitch, I'll be leaving it connected to the box blade. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of my future videos.